Hello friends, welcome to Solution Room. In today's solution, I'll show you how to transfer or import pictures and videos from your PC or laptop to your iPhone, iPod or iPad. There are two to three methods to transfer pictures and videos. But today, I'll show you just one and it's called Sync Through iTunes method. So to use this method, you have to download and install iTunes in your PC or laptop. I already showed in my previous video that how to download and install it. You can find the link of the video in description. Coming back to the topic and first of all I'll show you some pictures which I'm going to transfer in my iPhone. So these are the pictures which will be transferred in my iPhone. I'll also show you my iPhone so you can see that there is no pictures or video in my iPhone. You can see it's empty. To transfer the data, first of all, connect your iPhone to your system. You can see my iPhone is now connected. Now open up the iTunes which you have installed in your system. You can see it's showing my iPhone connected. Click on it to open. Now go to Photos tab. After that, you will see Sync Photos option. Click on it to allow. Now go to your pictures or videos folder location which you have to transfer. My folder is on my desktop so I'll go to the desktop. So choose folder, desktop, pictures and select folder. Now if there are videos in your folder and you want to transfer it so select this option but if you just want to import pictures to your iPhone so don't select it. Now apply, remove and sync. It will not affect your already existing photos or videos or any other form of data in your iPhone. So they are transferred from my Mac. I'm using Windows operating system but it's a default name of a folder. Now there is a problem. If the pictures or videos which you have transferred from your laptop your iPhone through this method you will not be able to delete them from your iPhone you can see there is no delete icon so if you want to import more pictures with these pictures simply repeat this method and select multiple folders but if you want to delete all of the pictures from your iPhone that are transferred from your system you have to create an empty folder on your desktop and using the same method again but now you will select that empty folder apply and boom so you can see they are removed so if you think this method is difficult I have more methods to transfer pictures and video. I'll try to make videos on them too. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe.